Hi guys, Miss Feedy here here, and in today's latest video, I want to provide you some speculation on what maps we could be getting in the nearby future for Time for Two. Now, it's been stated by Respawn that we will be getting more DLC, but nothing as large scale as Frontier Defense. So, with that being the case, we have to speculate on what type of maps we could be getting. Now, I have two ideas. It could be either an original Time for Two map, something that's similar to Glitch or we'll be getting more type for one map. Now I'm going to go with the latter because this is how we've been currently sticking with. Over the coming months we've been getting game modes and maps from type for one. And I can see them just basically carry on with this method because it's a lot more simple and easier for them to import assets from one game, enhance it, tweak it a bit and then bring it to us as a brand new map. And it's kind of a win-win because a lot of players from the old game prefer the old maps and players like me who know got a chance to play these maps now have a chance to actually play them in Titanfall 2. So currently on screen you can see all the maps that are basically available in Titanfall 1. And now the ones that are highlighted red are the maps that are currently in Titanfall 2. So you can see the difference between what types of maps are available from both games. So with that being the case, I want to speculate on what type of maps we could actually get from popularity. Now like always, Respawn isn't going to release these maps just willy nilly. They're going to be picking the most popular maps, the maps that are most voted as most wanted by players. So I'm going to go with a few, at best I'm going to go with maybe 4 to 5. And I want to hear from you guys whether you agree with this list or whether you think that this map here that I chose could be substituted for another one with some reasoning if you have. So for the first map I basically speculate that could be introduced is Training Ground. Now Training Ground is a large scale open map where I see it more favouring Titan play rather than Pilot play. So I can see this map working out brilliantly for Titan Brawl and LTS type game modes. Now it doesn't have a lot of cover so that's pretty much perfect for Titan play and it's basically designed for all Titans to basically get in and out of action. So if you're someone that wants to play Scorch on this map, or North Star, or Legion, or Ion, this map here works out very well. And you have a bit of, you have maybe just two flanking routes. Both areas are quite wide and open, and both can be easily countered from both oppositions. So I can see it working out very well, and you also have the warehouse in the middle section, where I see it basically allowing pilots who are either on the ground to have a nice vantage view over the whole battlefield. And whether they want to pick people off from the bottom or whether they want to take some titans out, they have that opportunity. The only downside to this though is the fact that there's not a lot of cover when you're on the roof. So when you go onto the rooftop, you're basically making yourself an open target for people like Monarch and Tone to pick you off. I also noticed that this map here also has turrets, but I don't genuinely know if we could actually use these turrets if they were introduced into Titanfall 2. Now in Titanfall 1 you could actually hack these turrets and basically use it to fend off the enemy oppositions. In Titanfall 2 we don't genuinely know if that's going to be possible because they haven't really implemented it whatsoever. But if they do implement it, it would be a nice welcome change. Now the next map I could probably see being highly recommended is Boneyard. Now Boneyard to me is kind of like Crash Site 2.0. But it's a bit more, I say, lenient on the obstacles and kind of the structure of the areas. Now I see this map playing out perfectly for Pirate vs Pilot. Because everything is kind of leveled and you have buildings and little bases that have underground stru structures that I can see a lot of pilots using for mini or large scale skirmishes. While on the roof and surfaces, you can see more focusing on the close range titans such as Ronin and Scorch maximizing the close range and effectiveness of the map. If you're going to go ahead and use people like North Star or Legion, I genuinely wouldn't see it working out that, that very well for you. Now Legion you could probably do a bit good with, if you use a power shot here and there you probably have a good advantage. North Star is very debatable because its main weapon is more designed for long range engagements and unless you're some skilled player that knows how to use your main plasma rifle, then you won't have a high chance against our players on the ground. Now if you use your enhanced payload, yes. Or if you use your melee, yes as well, you'll have a good chance of fighting. If you don't use any of those, you're gonna have 
quite a struggle when it comes down to facing most oppositions on the floor, on the floor especially the pilots. But I can see this map being introduced as a, another close quarters map because we do have Complex and Crash Light, both two maps that are both highly liked and highly disliked, but they do work perfectly for pilot versus pilot play. So to bring in another map that's kind of similar as well, will be a nice welcoming choice as well. Now the next map I speculate that could come from popular demand is Airbase. Now Airbase is kind of similar to Training Ground, where it's kind of open air, and you have the middle section that's probably the main focus area. So for both oppositions from both sides, they're always coming to the middle and clash when they first start the match. And then, depending on how the fights go, it tends to lead into a tug of war, where the first person to push the enemy team back in the middle section of the warehouse gets a chance to push the enemy team back to their spawn point and basically control their, that middle section and their section. Now there are lanes designed for flanking, and if you're a pilot you can use the rooftops to maximise your effectiveness. And I see this map working out perfectly for game modes such as Attrition and Bounty Hunter, where you want everything to be simplified and you, just want, you want the energy of the battle to be here and there, so you know exactly where the fights are occurring, and you know exactly how to get there very quickly. Pilot versus pilot play is 50-50 because at best this area has a lot of areas you can hide and camp in and I also noticed that the rooftops are heavily accessible to all players. So I can see a lot of players basically camping on the rooftop with cloak and using their sniper rifles or their assault rifles to basically stay up there, camp and do what they please. Now a good thing, you can always counter that by using grapple to get up there relatively quickly or use your face to get out of danger. But this is kind of a problem when it comes down to actually fighting because I can see it leading into everyone starting off on the ground and then everyone will slowly start making their way up onto the roofs to the point of where if the enemy team is really good they can basically spawn camp you. But as well airbase does have some turrets placed around on the map so you can actually use them to maximize and help you as well. But the turrets do have a limited amount of health. So if you're going to use the turrets, try and use them as quickly and as effectively as possible. Now the next map that I would, personally for me, I would love to see be introduced is Export. Now Export is a very colourful map. I'll probably say it's scaled towards how colourful Glitch is. And the way the map is designed is that majority of fights are going to be happening on the sides and on the rooftops while the middle section is going to focus on, I say more Titan versus Titan play. Now the middle section is quite thin, but it's big enough to fit maybe two to three Titans at a time. But it won't be big enough to the point where Titans will be able to move the sections side by side. It's going to be more of Titans are going to be sitting behind each other and taking pop shots from behind. Kind of dangerous as well because if an enemy team finds out that you're doing that and they're in the doom state, they can they can go off and basically sneak up behind you guys and with Nuki Jack basically destroy you and all your buddies as well if you don't react quickly enough. But I can probably see this map being brought in very well because it's kind of similar to like I said Boneyard and Complex and Crash Site. It's very close cornered, it's very simply designed, you know exactly where the action is occurring to. Majority of fights are going to be happening on the rooftop, so it would be quite easy for you to pick people off, whether you're in the middle, in the area, or on the other side. And it also favours close quarter titans and nukejecting. So if you're someone that loves Squatch and Ronin, I can generally see these two titans here being most favourable. And lastly, I'll probably say this is one of the most favourable and most likely map I could see being brought back in to Titanfall 2 as a DLC map is Thatcher. Now Thatcher was a militia mission that was back in Titanfall 1 and I'll probably say it was a very well designed and very anticipated map. I can remember the trailers where when they were basically showing off this map it basically kind of it kind of fitted in very well with how cinematically it felt about how you were a soldier, you dropped into action, you basically had to get from point A to point B, clear the objective, and it just felt intense. It felt like a map that, you know, it could work out very well for you. And generally when you come down to play in it, it does. It kind of reminds me similar to forward-based Kodai. 
where the majority of fights can actually happen inside the buildings and on the ground level. But when things start to get intense and majority of fights start to, you know, round up with titans from both sides on the drop, everyone starts to go onto the rooftops. And what I mean by the rooftops, I mean generally pilots will mainly focus and stay within the buildings and stay on the rooftops to take pop shot at players. Because the moment titans start to drop, that's when things start to get serious. It gets extremely dangerous to stay on the ground for too long. And it's kind of similar to how forward based Kodai is also designed. Where the majority of players stay on the ground and always try to stay in the building as much as possible to try to get a nice little area to control. But the moment Titans start to drop, that's when the majority of players either start to come out and take pop shots or will either try to stay inside as long as possible so they don't get easily taken out. Now for this map here, I see this map favouring very well for all Titans. So you basically have a nice little advantage view for all players. So if players want to go with whatever Titans they feel most comfortable with for this map, this map here works within your favour. And I see these fights here get even more intense the more you fight as well. And the good thing about this map is the nice skybox as well that comes along with it. The fact that you see all these ships in the air just basically hovering around and sometimes even fighting is also a nice little addition. Now whether they add that into Titanfall 2 as well is very debatable. That, so this here was the five maps that I speculated that could be introduced into the game. Now all these maps here are kind of a variety of sizes and basically offer a different advantage and disadvantage when it comes down to play on them. For example, most of the maps here I, I've talked about are small size so they play up perfectly for pilot vs pilot and close range titans. On the downside though, because these maps are such small size it basically means it limits down to what titans can and can't be played with. At the same time though, I've also talked about some maps here that can also be used for much larger scale or middle sized maps. So it allows players and titans of all variety and loadouts to actually come in as one and basically have a complete fight here and there. But at the same time, I've also talked about maps that are also medium and large size as well and basically allow all variety of titans and all variety of loadouts for different classes to basically interact and basically have an all out fight here and there. So my section here is basically a mixture of everything. It allows you to have different play styles. And it's also kind of nice because it's also a slight change to some of the maps that we currently have. Some of them offer a nice little advantage view and some players that you know previously played these maps might find little spots and areas that they may have made good use of. While some now, you know, may find some areas that are beneficial to the team. So in general, these are the couple of maps that I speculate that could be introduced into the game. They all come into different varieties from large scale to small scale to medium scale, all focus on either on close quarters or all ranges, either focusing on a selection of titans or a selection of pilots. And all these maps here basically offer the players a variety when it comes down to interacting and playing the maps as a goal. So let me hear in the comment section what you guys generally think. Do you agree with my selection of maps that could potentially be introduced into Time for 2 as the final few maps? Or do you think the selection of maps I chose are are not suitable for Time for 2? Do you think that there, are, there is a map or two, or generally all the maps, that could be swapped for something else that you feel is more popular and more in demand? Let me hear you guys in the comment section. So that's the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike, I understand and I know what to do in the nearby future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.